Terry Brower. I'm the director of the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. The Academy Museum is going to be what is really the first film museum in Los Angeles, and which is amazing considering that uh, the film industry has been out there since about 1910. So we are going to be the first film museum and will be international in scope. And we're taking over an old um, department store that was called the May Company building, now called the Saban. And that will be connected with beautiful glass bridges to a big new spherical structure designed by Renzo Piano, uh, which will be a thousand seat theater. So the theater really acts as an anchor for the whole museum. And then the uh, museum part is in the old department store. So we get the best of both worlds, the old and the new together. We'll be screening all kinds of films, uh, past, present, and latest releases that come out. And we'll actually have another theater inside of the museum part that's a nice 288 seat theater, which will act very much like a cinematheque, so that it'll be screening films every day. And that will go along with some of the exhibitions that we do, so it could be a retrospective of a director, um, or it could be a thematic exhibition. Um, so there'll be screenings in there all the time as well, plus standalone screenings. So yes, a film being presented as it was meant to be seen as 16 millimeter, 35, 70 millimeter. We even have nitrate capabilities. And then of course the new laser, uh, laser projection. Inside the museum there will be three levels of exhibitions. And two of the levels are made up primarily of a, an historical exhibition going from the 19th century uh, and showing the evolution of film all the way to the present with a lot of hints towards the future uh, as well, or the possible futures of cinema. And then the next floor up are, is for temporary exhibitions, such as retrospectives of directors, thematic shows, maybe even socially oriented um, exhibitions, uh, or exhibitions that delve into the technology um, of, of cinema. And then we have a project space which is very much for projects that take multiple screens or that are about virtual reality or augmented reality or digital technology that kind of points the way to the cinema of the future and the way that it's exploding into other realms now. The film industry itself has been very much behind this project. I mean, Steven Spielberg actually has a gallery right in the lobby area of the museum. Jeffrey Katzenberg has the temporary space um, uh, up on the third floor. Bob Iger has been chairing our campaign. All the major studios have backed us in, in various uh, amounts. Uh, so uh, one of the things I can say is that Hollywood has really turned out to help make this museum possible. The museum's actually right at Wilshire and Fairfax, which is right next to the LA County Museum and the beginning of Miracle Mile, as it's called in Los Angeles. And it's also called sometimes Museum Row. And it used to only be one museum, but now there's all sorts of museums there, including the new Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. The museum will be opening in the fall, at some time in the fall of 2019. So coming up really soon.